And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Okay, so if I made this face here, which of these cards do you think it is? So we take a look. Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? Or is it this one? Well, the answer is this one, the gum who looks like he's about to be stepped on. And that is the whole point of emo Chito or Imojito, I'm not actually sure how to pronounce this, uh, but this is a game about expressions. Sometimes you are just making a facial expression, sometimes you're making this sound, and you're trying to get other people to guess them. Here's how you play it. Now in this game, you can play three ways. You can play cooperatively against the game. You can play competitively or you can play in teams. All the ways are pretty much the same. If you're playing uh, co cooperatively, you have one piece and then the game has another piece. If you're playing competitively, each person will have their own piece. And so on a player's turn, they're gonna look at where their piece is. So here you see the person making a sound um, uh, and a facial expression. Here you see just the facial expression and here you see just the sound. So when it's your turn, you will draw a card, you'll look at where you are. So I need to make a sound of this, whatever it is, so this happens to be an onion. And so I might go, eh. all right, that might be my sound and facial expression. You look at my face and see that I'm making a similar face. I then will draw six other cards from the pile and they're gonna all be shuffled together. All right, then these cards are gonna be placed randomly around the outside and each player is going to look at these cards and try to figure out which one is the sound that I made. So each player is going to pick with a little wheel that they have. Now, if I'm playing, we're all playing cooperatively against the game, each wrong answer moves the game piece and each correct answer moves our piece. Otherwise, the players who get it correct are gonna move and you'll move when other people get yours correct. And every time your piece passes this finish line, you will take one of the cards as like a trophy. This is a scoring thing because at the end of the game, if you're playing co co cooperatively, having the most of these cards over the game, getting more cards will win you the game. And if you're playing competitively, you want to get the most cards. There's also some challenges you can do if you're playing competitively or if someone's in the lead and someone makes the noise or the sound or whatever, you can challenge somebody and try to make them lose points and you get points. But for the most part, you're just going to be looking at these cards. And I'm going to show the cards when you make the noise, when you do just the noise, that's number seven and number five, if you're on those spaces, everyone has to close their eyes and you just make the noise. You're not allowed to make the noise of the animal. So I can't, for example, here go, ooh, ooh, ha. Instead here, I'd be like, huh? That would be more like the noise that I would pick. Um, and the facial expression, you don't make any noise at all. You just have to make a facial expression of these. And the artwork here is really fantastic. And you can see the different things here from Iemohito, and there's a really a lot of artwork in the game, and so you're going to always have a constant mix of these animals and, and so on and so forth. And so that's how you play. Uh, mostly it's the same way as you move these pieces around and as players use the color wheel, and eventually you will all win together as a group. Um, for the cooperative game, it's, you need to get cards equal to the number of players minus one, and for the competitive game, when somebody has three cards in a team game or when someone gets five cards in a single everyone versus other people game. The strongest draw for this game is most definitely the artwork. This is just absolutely fantastic artwork overall. I'm very impressed with how these cards look. Uh, really, this is, this is some of my favorite artwork in a game ever. Um, the game itself is very similar. I played a game way back in the day called Moods, where you had to read a sentence in a specific mood and people had to guess what it is. There's things like that. So this one here is facial expressions. And there's even a game like that where there's faces on the board and you make one and people are trying to quick guess which one it is. I actually prefer this picking a dial method. 
And even the scoring method I like, you're moving around a track and every time you pass the finish line, you get a card. It's a very clean way to keep score. I will say I feel like the game has maybe one too many rules, especially in a competitive version at challenging someone. They put that in there so in case someone's really far ahead of you, you can bring them back and go forward. Pfft, that's a dropped rule. I understand that you don't want to be really far behind, but this is a fun party game and adding a somewhat complex rule to me just doesn't make sense. Now, is it better to play this game cooperatively or competitively? I, I, I think both are fine. I think I would prefer to play uh, competitively because it's fun to, you know, you're really trying to get it right and it feels a little bit more satisfying in a competitive game. In fact, I don't know that I played many party games that were cooperative, but it's fine and it works especially great for kids. Uh, sometimes it's really easy. You're like, oh, well, that's obviously that. And you have to really get it down in people's heads that if you see a line, you can't go, Rawr. okay, you can't do that. It's all about the facial expression. They just pick different animals and vegetables and eggs and bubble gum and bowling balls to, to be the things. And man, like I said, the artwork is just great. So I like this. It's in, it's in that range of party games, which does something that other party games do, where someone does something, you have to guess the right card, the apples, the apples mix. But it adds a few wrinkles, the, co the, competitive, the cooperative game for being one, um, and the fact that sometimes you're making a sound, so people have to close their eyes and just listen to it. And that's really hard, by the way. The sound plus expression, easy, usually. The, just the facial expression, that's harder, but just the sound can be really difficult because you hear someone go, Arr. and you're like, um... Okay, I just I heard that was was that this, or or was that this, or was that this? Probably not that. That seems pretty happy. Or was that this, um, or was that this? Hmm. And I really enjoy that the game's quick. Everyone's involved the whole time. This is certainly a cool little party game. Check it out. Dice Tower Judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Boop. Boop.